on your shoulder. when you experience pain and discomfort seemingly out of nowhere. How can a small little mouse cause you so much pain and fear? Hi, I'm Liz, physiotherapist from MyPhysio2Go. We've dedicated our channel to help people like you learn about your injuries and how to manage and prevent them for yourself. In this episode today, I will be focusing on the mouse shoulder, what it is, and how you can treat and prevent this annoying condition. Let's take a closer look. When sitting at the computer, the common setup is to have the keyboard, then the mouse beside it. Take a look at how the arm must reach forward and out to the side to control the mouse. The shoulder blade is pulled forward and even though it seems as if there is no effort in keeping this position, muscles are working hard to keep the shoulder blade and arm in place. Muscles at the back of the shoulders such as the rhomboids, trapezius, rotator cuff and deltoids are stretched out while the muscles at the front of the shoulder such as the biceps, pecs and anterior deltoids are in a shortened position. Most people get pain in the areas around the shoulder blade and shoulder area. Things would feel tight, achy, sore. Sometimes people describe a burning pain in those areas and occasionally may complain of numbness and tingling down the arm. So what are some things you can do for yourself? First and foremost, correct the mouse position. The main thing is you want the mouse close to the body and your elbow needs to be supported. There are keyboards that don't have number pads attached so that the keyboard is smaller allowing you to bring the mouse closer. If you still need a number pad, you can attach that separately. There are also mini keyboards with all the keys included just in a smaller format so it leaves space for the mouse behind it. Use a chair with armrests and if you don't have room for armrests, there are armrests that can attach to your desk. Experiment with different types of mice if you are doing a lot of clicking with a mouse. Different mouse designs will have the hand in different positions that may be more comfortable for you. Secondly, do some exercises to counter the lengthened muscles around the shoulder blade and shoulder and stretch the shortened muscles in the front. These strengthening exercises have been shown to activate the muscles controlling the shoulder blade without overusing the frequently tight upper trapezius. The first exercise is to lay on your side with a light weight. Start with your arms at your sides, set the shoulder blades by pulling them back and down, then bring the arm forward and up toward the head. Keep the movement slow and controlled. The second exercise is to lay on your side again with a light weight. Have a pillow between your elbow and the side of your body. Hold the weight at a 90 degree elbow bend, then turn the arm outward. The third exercise is to lay on your stomach with a light weight in hand. Again, set your shoulder blade and point the thumb towards the ceiling. Slowly raise the arms out to the side and up toward the ceiling. The fourth exercise is on your stomach again. This time, lay with the weights beside your body. Set the shoulder blades then lift the weights up off the floor. Now we need to stretch the muscles at the front. The first one is the pec stretch. Start with the elbow bent at 90 degrees and lean into the doorway. Then change the angle where the arm is up high and this will get a different area of the pec. Next, we need to stretch the biceps, so stand right beside a wall and straighten out the elbow behind you and rest the palm against the wall. The third thing you can do for yourself is some self-massage to take out trigger points that may have formed in the various muscles. So find a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball and put the ball against you in a wall. Roll around and find a painful spot, then hold until the pain subsides. Just keep rolling around the shoulder blade and the space between the shoulder blade and spine and find as many tender spots as you can following this procedure. So there you have it, all the things you can do for yourself to help ease your mousing shoulder pain. Try doing this daily for a week and see if you can start noticing some changes. 
support us by subscribing to our channel if you enjoy what we're doing. Let us know if there is a topic you would like to hear about. Till next time!